welcome back to Pure Lottie. So today's video is everything to do with my hair. So if you want to see what I am going to talk about today, then make sure you keep watching. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family, hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's jump in. So to start the video off, I wanted to mention that my hair is one day post hairdresser visit. So every eight weeks I do visit the hairdresser. I do have naturally like a dark blonde slash brown hair color, um, but I get lighter blonde put through my hair. So I get that touched up every eight weeks. And then we also just redid the teal on the bottom just to make it a bit more vibrant because it was starting to wash out. So my visit yesterday with the hairdresser, we just did the same thing that we did eight weeks ago. Um, and this is what my hair looks like one day post hairdresser visit. So really, really nice. I always love how my hair looks straight after the hairdresser. I can just never get it perfect like she does like I don't know she has some sort of magic that makes my hair look absolutely fabulous okay so jumping into the first part of this video so I only wash my hair once a week now I have very very long hair it comes down to underneath my bust or halfway down my back I also have very, very fine thinning hair and that is because of the medications that I am on. Even pre-medications, my hair was fine, but it was never as fine as it is now and I never lost as much hair as I do now, unfortunately. Now to me, I really do cherish my hair and I am trying to make sure that I look after it as best as I can because I know there will come a day when I am going to have to chop it all off and I really don't want to do that. So I have been seeing my current hairdresser for I think I worked it out to be about three or four years and she is absolutely amazing. I have um, been traveling to go and see her because we did move away from where she is located but when you find a hairdresser it's like a doctor when you find a good one that is quite happy to answer your questions is friendly it's nice and just looks after your hair really nice you you follow them you don't go and try other hairdressers I have had really bad hairdresser experiences in the past and when I met this hairdresser I was absolutely petrified because I've had hairdressers absolutely fry my hair and cut way too much off. And I needed a hairdresser that was going to listen to me and take in the medications that I'm on and how fine and thinning my hair is and give me the proper expert advice that I needed. So I absolutely love my hairdresser, um, but I am no hair expert. So everything that I am saying in this video today is what I have learned from my hairdresser or what my hairdresser has recommended for me. So jumping into cleaning my hair. I only clean my hair once a week. My hair is quite long. It takes a while for the natural oils to get to the bottom of my hair. I also don't like how long it takes for my hair to dry. So once a week really works perfectly for me. And I will wash it more often if I'm doing things that makes my hair like dirtier. Like if I go to the beach and there's like sand and stuff, of course I'm gonna wash it earlier. If I'm going camping, swimming, you know, all of that, of course I'm gonna wash it sooner than a week. But if it's just like everyday activities and stuff, then once a week is when I wash my hair. So my natural hair color is actually a really dark blonde slash brown. So I actually get my hair lighter than what my natural color is. So my natural color, you can see a little bit, like I don't get my hair like bleach bath. This is foils, so you can see the little strips in there of my natural hair color but I get a lighter blonde put through and we do do foils um, just because it's nicer on my hair and then as it grows out it looks much more natural so 
I'm able to wait eight weeks in between visits then. And for the last eight months, I have also been adding colors into my hair. So at the moment I have teal down the bottom. Now you can actually see there's different tones. Now, because my hairdresser appointment was yesterday, um, we touched up the foils and then we ran the teal through the bottom again. So you'll see the different tones there. The darker, like bluey color is because we've redone it over top. And then the lighter colors are the teal that is starting to wash out quite a bit. So to wash my hair when I am strictly blonde, I use the High Lift Professional True Blonde Zero Yellow Pure Silver Shampoo and Conditioner. So the bottles look like this. Now you'll notice these are brand new um, because I've just finished my other lot that was in my empties video a few weeks ago. So it looks like this and the conditioner is just a matching bottle. Um, it is a purple shampoo and it is really nice in my opinion. On here it says it eliminates yellow and brassy tones from blonde hair and it's enriched with kakadu and native plum extracts and it is vegan, sulfate and paraben free, humidity, thermal and UV defense. So that's on the shampoo. And on the conditioner, this one is actually enriched with macadamia and coconut oil extracts, but everything else is the same. I only tone my hair probably every second wash, so every fortnight uh, when it is strictly just blonde. I don't tone my hair every single wash. Um, you can normally tell when you need to tone your hair. I just tend to do it every second wash and it keeps my hair looking nice and fresh and no yellow tinges then. But this was recommended to me by my hairdresser and I have actually been using these products for a good three, four years now. And yeah, I really love this one. So this is what I tone my hair with. Now the next two products is something that is new to my hair care routine. So pre this, I was actually using uh, Neoxin for my thinning hair but my hairdresser has swapped me over to something that's more natural so it is from the company pure organic certified complex and this is the shampoo and conditioner so it is bond repairing and protecting it's got ginger oil rosemary oil and a kai oil it is sulfate paraben gluten free vegan friendly uv thermal and humidity difference so I have been using these probably about three months now and I absolutely love them. I was using the conditioner for longer than this, but I've only just swapped over to the shampoo about three months ago. And I really, really do love how this makes my hair feel. And I have definitely noticed a difference using this. So yeah, I really do love this shampoo and conditioner and I'm very happy with it and I will probably pop it in a speed reviews when I do have more of an opinion on it. But so far there's been nothing, no issues with it at all and yeah, I've really noticed my hair improving with these. When washing my hair, I don't actually like to use heat on my hair because it is so fine and because I have lost so much hair, I don't want to damage any more of my hair. So to wash my hair, I wash it normally in the shower and then I get out and I put my hair in a hair wrap. So I've just swapped over to these Frenchie hair wraps. They came in the Lumi box and I absolutely love them. This one is a really nice and thick so it absorbs a lot more water than what the standard ones are. So I'm very impressed with this one and it fits my hair in there completely so there's no issues. And who can't go past the pink? Like, that's cute. <laughs> so I always pop my hair in this for about 30 minutes, sometimes even longer. I can sit there with it on for a few hours if I forget about it. Um, but it absorbs a lot of the water. And then I tend to let my hair air dry after I've got the majority of the water out. Now, the next thing that I do use in the shower of my hair is a bond repair treatment. Now, I have been using this for probably closer to six, maybe even nine months, actually. 
it could be nine months um, and it is from the same shampoo and conditioner company this is the pure organic certified complex this is the fusion complex bond repair treatment so basically it rebuilds chemically damaged hair softens and smooths hair texture and improves hair color intensity again it's sulfate paraben gluten free vegan friendly uv thermal and humidity difference so difference defense sorry <laughs> So yeah, I have been using this, it probably is closer to nine months. Um, and this here is what I have noticed the most difference with. Using this has really, really helped the ends of my hair. I put this all through my hair, not just at the bottoms, but I noticed the most amount of difference at the bottom because that's where it's more damaged because it has gone through the hair dye quite a bit. So yeah, I notice a difference. I notice I have less split ends. I have less breakage. Um, and my hair just at the end looks so much healthier using this product. And I use this every time I wash my hair now because it is just amazing. So I currently use this product once a week. So every time I wash my hair, um, if I am washing my hair more than once a week, then I'll normally just use it once a week, not every single wash. Um, but this is an amazing product and I definitely notice the difference with this. So I really, really love this product for my hair. Now the next product that I also use in the shower is how I color my actual hair. So the bottom part here where it is teal, this is done with a conditioner. So it is from Keracolor and it is a color plus conditioner. So you basically use this in place of a conditioner. So you shampoo your hair still and then you put this through as your conditioner and it leaves the colored pigment behind. The longer you leave it in your hair, the darker it is going to be. And you can also pop it on dry hair so then it is a lot more pigmented. Um, but I normally get the hairdresser to do the first initial application and then I just keep the color going until my next hairdresser visit. So this is what the bottle looks like. And this has been what I have used for each of my hair colors. So I have done rose gold, I have done silver and I have done silver blue and now I have done teal. And this stuff here, is amazing. I love how easy it is to wash out of your hair. This one has been the one that has stuck to my hair the most. I have not had to reapply the teal for the whole eight weeks. So my hairdresser did the initial application and then she did another application yesterday. I have not done any in between that. That's how good this teal is. But the way this stuff fades um, with all the other colors, it faded so nicely and it just, it doesn't damage your hair. You can change your hair up quickly and you can control how much color goes into your hair. So I thought this was definitely perfect. This was recommended to me by my hairdresser again because I did float the idea with her of how would I go if I wanted to trial some colors? And for my hair, because it is so fragile, we don't want to damage my hair any more than necessary. So these worked out to be perfect. And you can get these online. Um, I think they're about $30 a bottle. So you see on the back here, it will show you like the color pigmentation. So this here is like one wash, two washes and three washes. So it significantly gets darker the more that you wash your hair. It also darkens with the length of time that you leave it in your hair. So I think that it stops working after about 20, 30 minutes. So you can't leave it in for too long. It won't damage your hair or anything like that. Um, but if you pop it on dry hair and then go do like a face mask and then jump in the shower, um, it's going to come up a lot more vibrant than if you actually just put it on your wet hair in the shower, waited a few minutes and then washed it out. So this here I absolutely love. And yes, I am going to keep doing different colors because I'm loving experimenting. So leave some comments down below with what colors you want to see my hair in the future. Now just quickly on that teal pigment, um, 
all the blue sort of greeny colors all of them will stick to your hair a lot more than all the other ones so for this color we chose the ombre sort of one so then if it's not all out before my next appointment then we're only having to do like a bleach bath on the bottoms and then it's only the bottom of my hair that's getting damaged which means we can easily cut it out so that is why i haven't done the top but for the rose gold the silver the blue silver all of that we did all throughout my hair and it washed out perfectly and we didn't have to bleach bath my hair which is really good because bleach bathing my hair is not really in my favor so the next thing that I have just started using, I'm going to have to update you on the progress on it in a speed review, but I picked up a hair mask because I do like to do like a sort of a pamper day once a month. And so it's from the same brand, Pure Organic Certified Complex, and this is the Sacred Mask. So it comes in this cute little tub. Um, it is super, super thick and... I use it once a month, so I have used it twice so far now, um, but I do need to keep using it to get more of an opinion. Um, but from my first sort of trials with it, it's super, super thick and super hydrating. Like I get out of the shower and my hair has like soaked up so much moisture and it looks so healthy after using this. So I absolutely love this hair mask. Now, if my hair is dirty and I don't want to wash it or it's uh, dirty and I'm in a rush and I just need to make it look good, I do just use the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Uh, this is the one I use. I don't use this very often. I reckon this is probably only my second bottle in the last four or five years because I rarely, rarely use dry shampoo. Now, if I am to use any heat on my hair, I am very, very careful. I do use a heat protectant. At the moment, I just use the GHG Unplugged Heat Protectant Spray. This is actually one that my husband got me when he brought me my GHG hair dryer and my GHG hair straightener. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this stuff, but I don't think you need the brand name one. Um, in my opinion, I've used others that just work the same. So as long as you're using some sort of heat protectant spray, then it's going to protect your hair a lot more. Another thing that I have been using in my hair the last few weeks, I will have to update you again in the speed reviews, but I picked up from Maple and Waddle some Fairy Locks. Now I chose the scent Warm Vanilla Sugar, um, but it basically basically helps get any knots out. Now it is targeted toward kids and it is a local Australian business. Um, I think she's based in Queensland and she makes them all. It's like her little business that she started with her son at like a market and now it's become like this massive company. And honestly, their scents are amazing. They do like, uh, wax, they do bath bombs, um, they do shampoos, conditioners, everything like that. But I wanted to give the Fairy Locks a try. Um, so this, yeah, helps get all the tangles out. And honestly, the amount of mums out there that swear by this product is amazing. So I was like, well, I'm going to try it because sometimes my hair does get really knotty and my hair is fragile. So I can't sit there and just brush it out and hope I'm not going to break very much. So yeah, this has been working really nicely. It smells really nice as well. Um, it's almost like a perfume and like a hair detangler in one, but I'll keep you updated on how I'm feeling on this when I've used it a few more times. So another product that is my trusty ride or die product. I got this in the Lumi box, I think last year now, and I have brought loads of replacements now. Um, and it is actually the slick stick. So I have a lot of like baby hairs and stuff from all the breakage in my hair. Um, and the slick stick gets rid of them. So if you ever see me with my hair um, with no like flyaways and stuff, it's because I've used the slick stick. So this is what the old packaging used to look like. And this is a new packaging. So I've just gotten this in. 
I don't think you can actually see it on camera. I'm not sure if it's picking it up. Um, but yes, this is absolutely amazing for the flyaways. It's vegan, it's um, cruelty free, and it doesn't leave my hair dry or anything like that. Um, it just brushes out of your hair. So I find it really, really good for getting rid of my flyaways or keeping them under control. Okay, so the last product is from Kiyun. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it is a Style Fix Brush Out Lacquer. Um, so this is what I use for any sort of like hairspray needs. Um, this is really, really good. It brushes it out so it does not leave your hair all crunchy or hard or gross feeling. Um, and it holds it really, really nicely as well. Now, I don't put hairspray in my hair very often. It's more if I'm going out somewhere where I want my hair to look good for the entire time, then I'll use it. But otherwise, I don't like to put that those extra products in my hair because it will just weigh down and break my hair. Now a few more things I wanted to mention before finishing this video off. So I do not use any elastics in my hair anymore. I have completely swapped over to a scrunchies. It is much nicer on your hair, much um, softer and less breakage. So you can get like little satin ones, you can get soft ones. You can actually get some mulberry silk ones as well and they would be the best ones to use for your hair but they are so expensive so for now I am using these sort of scrunchies and I absolutely love it and if I do need to use a hair elastic I will try and make sure it's only at the bottom of my hair like when I do like a plait or something because then if it's damaging the bottom, it's fine because it will be trimmed off. As for brushing my hair, I go for a paddle brush. And this one is from GHD. This was, um, again, from my husband in all of the gifts that he brought me from GHD. Um, and it is absolutely amazing. I really, really love this brush for when I am using heat and hair drying my hair. Um, because I would normally hair dry it straight. And this like holds the heat in it so it comes out really really nicely with this brush when i'm trying to detangle my hair i do use a small detangler like this um it is good for also like a on the go brush so you can easily keep it in your handbag so yeah i do like having this as well and whenever i need to use a comb i do use my ghd carbon anti-static comb it just looks like this it's just a standard comb um i never ever use the comb in the shower though that is one thing that i will mention i don't use any sort of wet brush or anything like that and that is because Trying to brush my hair in the shower or when it is wet will damage my hair massively. So for me, I do not touch my hair when it is wet. I will wait until it's dried. And if I'm in a rush, then I will dry my hair so that I can then brush it. So that is how I look after my hair. So if you have any other questions on my hair care routine um, or anything else that I may do, then let me know down in the comments. I'm always happy to answer any questions. And if you liked today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family, hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, Thanks for watching guys. 